Hello guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we've been in the works in the last couple of weeks. Now we're back with another episode. I'm gonna stop calling it Relab Life now. We're gonna call it Relab Academy. If you're familiar with our online course, it's called Relab, Relab.Academy. Go and check it out. Um, it talks about product design, the stuff that you see here as well, a lot of the times. But um, today I'm gonna talk to you about the difference between UI, UX design and product design or digital product design. Man, I've been getting some backlashes about calling it product design because people think about it as industrial design which is traditionally kind of true. These days though, when people talk about product design, they can refer product design as digital product design. So here, just to be specific, it's gonna be about digital product design. Uh, to explain this to you, I'm gonna get into my iPad and we're gonna do a little bit of a scribbling. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we're here looking at the difference between UI and UX designer uh, versus product designer. So the first thing that we need to look into is what is the difference between UI and UX, first of all. Oftentimes people combine it as, as UI and UX, but they're actually two different things. So if I can quickly explain what the difference is, um, UI design stands for user interface user interface. So the things that a UI designer is concerned about most of the time is how do things look and interact and um, how do they gel together? Do they work with the brand or not? And stuff like that. And I'll get into that in a second. So if we were to look at the difference between, sorry, what's under UI design, it'll be, you know, things that you would typically think of visual design. So it'll be things around design elements. Um, so design elements are things like um, fonts, layout, uh, colors, patterns, and one, whatnot, right? And the other things that UI designer thinks about are oftentimes interaction. So it'll be interaction. They do a lot of prototyping as well. Uh, so stitching up a prototype, prototyping. Um, UI designers these days as well get involved a lot in design systems. So I'll just write down design systems there. Um, a lot of the design elements these days include motion work as well. So animation or motion is another thing that UI designers or interface designers um, think about. Um, and of course, in the world of web, you've got responsive design. So responsive and uh, lastly, but definitely not the least important is accessibility. Uh, ability. So these are just some examples of the type of um, things that UI designers or user interface designers look into in their daily lives and the things that they are most concerned about. And oftentimes those are front end stuff, things that, um, that talks about the brand uh, and the visual elements, um, basically. Now, let's get into UX design. So UX design, uh, as most of you would know, is user experience, or some people call them experience designers. Um, when, we, when it comes to user experience, on top of UI, which is user interface, oftentimes people think about um, the user itself. So they're most concerned about what the users think, what their experience is like, what the, their behaviors is like. So it's basically about understanding personas, who the user is, putting themselves into the customer or the user shoe is very important as a UX designer. Um, they think about journeys, user journeys. Uh, they think about user flows. Uh, information architecture is another thing. Architecture. And uh, usability. That's why a lot of user researchers or user designers would go into A-B testing, user testing, usability testing, and all sorts of stuff like that because they're really just trying to understand what the behavior is like, that it informs them on what actions to make or to recommend. And um, there's also a category called UX writing. So writing is actually a thing. 
in user experience because a lot of the times it's it's more than just visuals, it's more than just technical stuff, but it's also about tone, language, and how you deliver the voice uh, of a brand or or whatever you wanted to do in the product. Um, so that's basically UI and UX. And oftentimes when people talk about UI UX designers, it's basically these things combined between UI design and UX design. Depending on how big or small the company is, uh, the larger the company, the more specific the role is. So you've got UX writers, you've got UX researchers. And then in a mid-sized company, they might have just UX designers who does everything around UX. Um, and like little startups, for example, or small businesses, they'll have UI and UX designers combined because basically you just need one person to do all of that together as a catch-all thing. Um, now we'll get into product design, which is where the confusion is uh, these days. So in terms of product uh, design, the things that they are most concerned about is more than just the user interface or the user experience, but it's quite specific to the product that they look after. So if I was to take an example of an Uber as a company or an Unplasian, let's stick with the Uber for now. In Uber, they have multiple different products, whether it be the driver's app or the customer's app or even their own internal applications, their website and so on and so forth. So each of those platforms are called products. So a product designer for Uber's, um, let's say, driver's app would solely focus on the driver's app itself and he or she is part of that driver's app team as a product designer. So if I was to map out the things that a product designer would be most concerned about are probably in addition to user interface and user experience stuff, they would also add elements about understanding the adoption of the product itself. So they'll be thinking a little bit more about the business, more than just the user interface or user experience. Uh, they'll think about factors like conversion, which is oftentimes, by the way, is also part of user experience. But conversion is even more important because uh, they are going to think about the brand, sorry, the product specifically, and also retention. Uh, how do they keep users engaged with the product? Uh, how do they come back to the app again and again? Uh, and after that, what happens in terms of trying to get users to advocate the, the product or the app, as an example? Uh, so therefore, advocacy is also something that product designers think a lot. Um, and also growth. So growth means it's more than just a one-off project. Uh, it's a life cycle of a product. Where else do we optimize? What do we need to remove? What do we need to elim eliminate? And then from there, um, you know, do iterations and do different versions. So um, product designers are very much engaged with their one product or their product focus, as opposed to doing multiple projects. Oftentimes in different, in different scenarios, it might be different, but as a rule of thumb, that, that's what generally happens. Um, and so I guess, from a skill set point of view, if you're in university or you're just learning UI or UX design or product design, actually there's not a lot of product design courses and I do get a lot of questions in our YouTube comments just asking what exactly is product design. Um, as a rule of thumb, you can think about it as first and foremost, you're a designer, whether you're a graphic designer, a web designer, a UI designer, whatever, but it depends on what you wanted to focus on. Uh, if a product is what you want to, wanted to focus on, there's so much opportunities these days because there's so many new startups, new companies, new businesses, and digital is just part of their DNA. And product is oftentimes something that comes with their service, whether it be an app, a website, an e-commerce store, or whatever it is. But a product, digital product design, is very important uh, for you to learn about if you wanted to get into the digital design business. Um, so, I'll just summarize very, very quickly here. So, if we talk about UI, UX versus product, the questions that a UI, UX designer would typically ask is, is the product or the design, is the product or design, easy to use. Um, how can I make 
the experience. Oops. How can I make the experience more user friendly? And if I can add another thing, how can I reduce? friction because you're trying to make everything seamless for the user in the experience. Now in addition to this, in product design, obviously you'll also think about all of this stuff which is how easy is it to use and can it be more user friendly, can we reduce friction, but in addition to that, product designers would also think about is the product um, a right fit for the economy, a right fit for the current economy. Economy and product designers will sometimes also think about, um, you know, does the, does the product align with the business goal? align with the business goal or the stakeholder's goal, whoever owns the product. Um, goal. And just to add one more thing, because I like things even, um, is how can I make, oops, I make the design cost-effective. Cost-effective, um, even like things like consistent is very important. Consistency, um, flexible, and scalable is actually a very important thing for product designers, particularly because um, it's all about scale and how we can optimize, how we can grow more efficiently. And you might, heard, you might have heard these days about roles called design ops. So design ops comes from this, in, in development world, there's actually DevOps who looks after servers and how things migrate from one, from one uh, host to another and stuff like that. In, in product design, there's this role called DevOps where they look after design systems. They make sure things are easily scalable. They make sure things are uh, well tidied up in the library, in the, in the components library, the patterns and all of that stuff to make sure that when product designers come in as a team, they work together, or when the new designer comes in, it's very easy to hand over things and to onboard them into the system. So that's what a lot of design ops people do. Um, and yeah, they think about consistency, flexibility, scalability, and how efficient and cost-effective things can be. Because oftentimes, uh, companies that own product will be tied into a budget, so managing budget is also very important. So as a whole, product designers would think about some of the business side a little bit more than I would argue UI and UX designers. Uh, but in addition to that, they actually complement each other. And as a matter of fact, they come from the same background and the same skill sets. Now, I'll leave it there. Do leave us a questions. I'll be more than happy to answer um, your inquiries. Uh, otherwise, if you enjoy this video, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share it to your friends, family, colleagues, whoever who would find it use useful. Um, other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you, folks.